could suppose what together we'll find with every pair of shoes that we try. We'll have a new adventure, you and I. Where will my feet take me today? Nobody knows for sure. What's the matter, Franny? I'm trying to draw a picture of Princess Florabelle. Well, that's a very good picture. Grandpa, it doesn't look like her. It doesn't? But she's got a crown and a fancy dress. This is what Princess Florabelle is supposed to look like. Oh, I see. I can't make my picture look like the one in the book. I'm going to throw it away. Do you mind if I keep this picture, Franny? You can if you want to, Grandpa, but it doesn't look right. <laughs> A customer! Hello, how can I help you? My rubber boots are leaking. Uh-oh, there are holes in the soles. It's making for some soggy slogging when I'm walking in the woods. I'll patch up the rubber and your feet won't be wet after Wednesday. Franny, could you give these boots a scoot? Right into the fix-it box, Grandpa. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? like the seashore. Those birds really know how to make a splash. Who are you? I'm Franny. Who are you? I'm Mo at the Moose. Welcome to Lake Huron. Lake Huron? I thought I was at the seashore. Nope. It's the lake shore. <laughs> Let me show you around. You got your blue lake and rocky shore. You got your maple trees. You've got a leaf on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing is, those leaves are green in the summer. But it's fall now, so they're turning red and all. And yellow and orange. Huh? What's that sound? Oh, that. Those are the loons. That was a fantastic song. I'm Franny. I'm Lewis. I'm Luna. I'm Lulu. Aren't they fantastic singers? Yeah. Too bad there's only three of them. What's the matter, Moet? I'd really like to sing with the loons, but they won't let me. That's not fair. Can't you let Moet try out for your group? Again? Okay. Wait. Where are you going? We just need to get farther away. You should too. Yeah. Everyone better stand <laughs> back. Cause this is gonna be good. <clears throat> Funny, didn't it? Don't worry, Moet. I'll help you. 
The loons won't hear us out here, Moet, so don't worry about how you sound when you're practicing. Mm, thanks, Frenny. I really want to learn how to sing better. Okay, Moet. Take a deep breath and try to sing like this. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. <laughs> Is my singing getting better? Well... Maybe singing isn't my thing. I've got such big ears. Maybe I'm supposed to listen to music, not make it. Don't give up, Moet. You'll get better someday. Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. That's Lewis and Luna. Come on. What's up, loons? We can't find Lulu. We've been calling and calling. We'll help you look for her. Oh, but Lake Huron is so big. We don't know where to start. Let me try. Lulu! Lulu! Lulu can't hear me. My voice isn't very loud. Yeah, too bad it wasn't louder. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You have a loud voice, Moet. You try calling Lulu. Oh, yeah. I do have a loud voice, don't I? Lulu! Lulu! I can't find Luna and Louis. Where am I? Lulu. Someone is singing my name! Like you. Moet, maybe you were trying to sing too high. Really? Yes. You have a low, moosey voice, not a high, loony voice. Can you give Moet one more chance? Sure. Go on, Moet, sing. You're a musical moose after all, Moet. I am? I am, aren't I? You sure are. You can sing with us whenever you want. And you can dance to our music anytime, Franny. Thanks. But I should be getting back home now. Grandpa will be wondering where I am. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sensational. <laughs> A fall leaf. <laughs> Another treasure for my shoe box. Grandpa 
Papa, do you still have my picture of Princess Florabelle? Here it is, Franny. You know, it is a pretty good picture. I think so, too. Moa tried to sing high like the loons, but it didn't sound very good. Moat? Who is that? He's a moose. Oh. Moat just had to sing the notes that were right for him. He did? My picture doesn't have to look like the one on the book. It looks just fine for a Franny drawing. Then let's put this up in the front window where everyone can see it. Okay, Grandpa. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? Molasses, what are you doing with all that stuff, Grandpa? It's for the neighborhood sale at the community center, Franny. Can I come? <laughs> sure. Why don't you collect some old toys and bring them with you? It's fun to sell or trade your old stuff. But none of my stuff is old. What about this old ambulance? You haven't played with it in a while. I need that in case one of my dollies gets sick. Hmm. How about these skipping ropes? If I untangle them, I bet they'd put a smile on some little girl's face. I need those in case I lose my new ones. All this talk of neighborhood sales is upsetting Briona. Well, I certainly don't want to do that. A customer! And what can we do for you? These shoes have stayed up many a night patrolling the museum, and now they're worn out. Can you mend the hole in the sole? Patching holes is my specialty. Your shoes will be back on patrol by Friday. Franny, can you put these in the fix-it box, please? Aye, aye, Grandpa. My feet take me today. Jeepers peepers! What a fantabulous place! I wonder where I am. Maybe that nice lady can tell me. Hi, I'm Franny. Pleased to meet you. Can you tell me where I am? Duddle, Duddle, it's not a real lady, it's just a picture. <gasps> Wait, don't run away, little cat. Maybe it's a game of follow the leader. Everything here is very old. Well, I'm very glad to meet you. Um... The name's Chaser. I'm the unofficial guard around here. Oh my! Being the unofficial guard sounds like a very big job. It certainly is. But I'm afraid I'm not doing a very good job of it. That's a very unfrantabulous face, Chaser. Can I help you turn that frown upside down? Maybe. Come on, I'll show you. Follow me. A few weeks ago, my precious Egyptian treasures started going missing. That's awful. What happened to them? Beats me. That's why I ran away when I saw you. I was afraid you were the museum bandit. Don't worry, Chaser. 
With Franny the Fantabulous Detective on the case, the real museum bandits don't stand a chance. Oh, Franny! Do you really think you can help? Do you, huh? Do you, do you, do you, huh? Absolutely. Why else would I be called Franny the Fantabulous Detective? Oh! Ah! Huh? <gasps> what was that? There's only one way to find out. Come on, Chaser. We've got the case of the disappearing Egyptian treasures to solve. <gasps> Chaser, look! The pyramid is gone! See, Franny? Those museum bandits stole the pyramid right out from under our noses! What do we do now? Rule number one of being a Frantabulous detective is to look for clues. Hmm. <gasps> do you see what I see? What is it, Franny? D did you find something? Did you? Huh? Did you? Did you? Hmm? Our first clue! This looks just like a shirt my grandpa has. He always wears it when he's cleaning the shoe shop. So this grandpa fellow is the museum bandit! <laughs> no, but maybe the museum bandit has the same shirt. We're going to need more clues to figure this mystery out. Huh? Chaser! Chaser! Where did that silly kitty go? Over here! Look what I found! Another clue! My grandpa always wears gloves like this when he's carrying heavy boxes or building things. I still don't see how these clues will help us find the museum bandits. First, I found a piece of plaid shirt that workmen wear, right? And then you found workmen gloves, right? All we have to do is find someone with a ripped shirt who's missing their gloves. Then Abracadabra will catch the museum bandits. Hey, Frank, let's get this show on the road. These boxes are going to haul themselves. Hmm. By the way, have you seen my gloves? <gasps> Chaser, did you hear that? I think we found our museum bandits. Stop! Don't leave! Come back! Mr. Museum Guard, you have to stop those museum bandits. Hurry! They're making off with all the Egyptian treasures. I've known Frank and Jerry for years. They're not museum bandits. They're top quality movers. Why would the museum hire movers? Because we're lending the Egyptian exhibit to another museum to make room for a new exhibit on dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? dinosaurs? It's a dinosaur, all right. It's just like Grandpa's neighborhood sale. Out with the old exhibit, in with the new exhibit. A new exhibit? Maybe I can be the unofficial guard of the dinosaurs now. I haven't seen someone so interested in protecting the artifact since, well, me. Chase is the best. Maybe you'd like to be my official deputy security guard. After all these years of being unofficial, being official would be great! No, no, it's better than great! It's terrific! No, no, it's, it's better than terrific! It's it! I think the word you're looking for is fantastic. Yes! That's it! Being the official deputy security guard would be fantastic. Thanks for helping me solve the mystery, Franny. You really are a fantabulous detective. I had better skedaddle. Grandpa will be waiting for me. Bye, Franny. Bye, Franny. Bye, Chaser. Bye, Mr. Museum Guard. <laughs> Digging dinosaurs. That was fun horrific. <laughs> Like the clue I found. <laughs> Another.
another treasure for my shoebox. Don't play with this anymore. Or this. Oh. I see you're cleaning out your toy box, Franny. Did you change your mind about coming to the community center sale? Uh-huh. Trading things can be fun. Chaser thinks so, too. Chaser? Who's Chaser? A museum cat. He thought bandits were stealing his Egypt exhibits, but they were just trading them for dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Egypt. I see. Can we go to the community center now? Sure thing. Let's go, Franny. Franny the Fantabulous Detective is right behind you, Grandpa. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? Mm -hmm. 